All right, that little clerk, uh, Scott Roberts, Mike Delaney. You guys ain't white either. Uh, not the white I associate with. You ain't my. I don't think you're my tribe. You ain't the white people I know. Uh, not in the core of my DNA. You're not. No. Um, and uh, you guys are like double agent uh, type. Uh, you guys ain't really. You guys are just on a bandwagon thing. And you ain't even real. You're just uh, total sellouts in my opinion. And uh, the more you follow along. As outrageous as uh, some of you might think Queenie's claims are. Whether they pan out to be true or not. If you keep following along with what they're talking about and keep true. They are, you'll notice that this is, uh, some of these things are undeniable. When you just start to think and open your mind a little bit. This is all about money. It's money, money, money. It's business. It's, it's a business. Um, the more you study it, the more you'll understand that it, it, it comes down to generating money. Whether they got to pretend to, uh be attacking each other verbally or mentally or, or over the internet or whatever and um, it just and then uh, you know what's his name radical Ryan uh, this guy is uh, he looks like you can't trust him you can't trust him at all don't trust him don't trust him you can't He's probably been to prison, and you can't trust him. Uh, it's sad to say, uh, and he's not white either. Uh, he's not uh, not the. He's not the. He's got too much of the other tribe. There's something about him. He's got white, but it's there's too much of the other tribe. It's bleeding through. You can see it. I can feel it. It's kind of like Star Wars. You can sense the dark, the light side of the force, and stronger in other people. Or when you get next to somebody and you just know that nagging, irritating feeling that there's just uh, disgusting, uh, overwhelming uh, feeling of them uh, being themselves being number one only solely in their whole life uh, and out to get for them only and uh, selfish um, these people are just making a business out of our uh, faith okay Mike Delaney Scott Roberts you guys need to get your nose in your scripture then you, if you're identifying with Christian identity get in there in the scripture man Quit walking around causing trouble. And what would you be doing then? What are you doing photoshopping pictures with Trump? Are you trying to see your double? You're stirring up trouble in a way. You're stirring up trouble. You're doing a double, a double job. Because you're stirring up trouble for Trump. But at the same time you're getting uh, exposure. Positive exposure for those uh, Pro-white fools that want to follow Trump. So you guys are just doing you like whatever you're sold out to whoever. It doesn't matter. And uh, I think you guys should just buzz off somewhere and uh, go do something else because uh, we don't like it. I don't like you guys. Uh, from what I see of you, I don't like you. You, I don't vibe with you guys at all. You guys are are uh, totally sold out to the media, in my opinion. And you guys are, uh, you got your little passes and everything. You get your little passes. And uh, I just can't say much more about it. I feel like... Um, Beyond the point of uh, angry anymore, 
about these movements, uh, more disappointment and regret uh, that I wasn't uh, getting involved in exposing them sooner. Uh, uh, because they're everywhere. It's all over. It, but it's pissing me off because it's making my faith system and my uh, race and my faith system and my real race. Not these uh, Three Stooge MGM style guys, okay? Uh, people like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But maybe it's just me uh, being my own white tribe but uh, the type of tribal that I am with white but I just don't I can feel that they're not fully there there's some other tribe in them they're not fully part of my tribe and they're not uh, for me they're for themselves only um, that's all they want they have the way of um, take uh, they don't have the way of give and that's my opinion but, you know, I'm agreeing with you guys, uh, Queenie and Keith Whoop, because I, I like the idea that somebody's actually just standing up and saying it. Because all these guys are, like, making their profit off of uh, white people starting to rise up again, you know, and waking up. And the anger that's being stirred up right now, and emotions, and racial, racial emotions... And they're, they're making money off it. And that's that's a shame. That's the shame of it. Now, what you're doing, what I'm doing is exposing is totally different. Because we're going against the grain of like basically everybody and everything. And so it's not like we're like, very few people can we be in agreement with. So it's not like we're in cahoots with, I don't know who you could be in cahoots with. Keith Woof? Maybe I'm in cahoots with, uh, what, uh. I don't know, at Love Clark, Michael Holloway, Holloway on Facebook, <laughs> you know, I don't know, it's a, it's a funny situation, but definitely I'm not a sellout, and I'm not going to ever be a sellout, but that's what limits people also, when you get in these groups, get involved in these groups, they limit you more, they restrict you more than they do free you and educate you. They indoctrinate you, and they brainwash you, and then they restrict you, and they tell you how to live, and that's what ends up happening, and uh, it's a big disappointment. All right, so watch out for these three stooges, Ryan, and Scott Roberts, and Mike Delaney, okay, these are definitely three stooges, and, uh, or if you want to throw Alex Jones in that mix, he can be shimped.